You, yes you, might start hanging on Paramore, especially Hayley Williams and even Taylor Swift after watching this video, unless you support their beliefs as well. Hi, my name's Duffy and let me simply tell you what happened, my fellow emos, pop punkers, elder emos and pop listeners. So Paramore served us a brilliant performance at iHeartRadio Music Festival. But in the middle of a song, she gave us a speech that even made Elon Musk tweet about it on Twitter. Or X. I don't know, it's still called Twitter. Do you want to live in a dictatorship? Well, show up and vote! Yeah. But don't panic, we're gonna do a quick speed run on how touring with her bestie Taylor Swift to the Orange Man hanging on Taylor, then landed on Hayley supporting the Orange Man's enemy. Back in 2024, Taylor invited Paramore as their special guest on her UK and European Lake of the Eras tour, stating how she's so excited about it on Twitter. So They had a great time staying together Talk about the friendship I was thinking about how the last time we performed together It was actually in 2010 on the Speak Now tour yes. Yeah, you had me come down like a grand staircase like We princess. were only 7 years old <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Yeah, we were children um, So, uh we should go for it, I think. Do, it. Do you guys feel like I'm um, singing really loudly for this one? It went perfect. Fun fact, she's also friends with Chris Carabar, singer from Dashboard Confessional. Is there a Chris oh. <laughs> Making me have two nickels for how many 2000s MySpace era emo rock star she's friends with, which is not a lot, but it happened. Then Orange Man discovered AI image generate sites, then created these weird abominations towards Swifties and Taylor. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f? Ah, I'm inviting this <laughs> This is why we should have given old people Nokias with 3Gs instead of Apples and Androids. Anyways, it made her shiver her timbers and made a post stating that I was made aware that AI of me falsely endorsing Trump's presidential run was posted on his site. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. I need to be very, very transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. I'm voting for Kamala because she fights for the rights, is a steady-handed, gifted leader and we can accomplish so much more if we are led by calm and not chaos. Also supporting Tim Walls for standing up for LGBTQ plus whites, IV a woman's rights to her own body for decades, then telling others to vote with cautious and do their research to vote for the right person. I'm staying longer on the post for a cat only. Who can resist this majestic floof ball? Me when I'm dyslexic and her contagious instead. What is love? I just want to use an excuse to put Pierce the in here. Making her followers count went from 301 million to 284 million. Ooh, that's. Ooh. However, Kamala acknowledged her support and thanked her on this video. I am very proud to have the support of Taylor Swift. She's an incredible artist. I really respect the courage that she has had in her career to stand up for what she believes is right. But they said they were on different sides about this situation. But we were on different sides of the Super Bowl last year. <laughs> I am a 49ers fan. But who's mad at anyone for being loyal to their team, right? So there you go. And Trump quote unquote tweeted, I hate Taylor Swift with full caps on his app called Truth Social. Kinda ironic cause AI generated images, Truth Social, the math is not adding up. And that's how the recent election broke into the music industry. I'm aware of how politics plays a huge role in music too, especially alternative music, such as punk, Grindcore Men's core Rock girl Even arguably golf rock But before I interrupt more Time to introduce your next superstar performers Fresh off of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour to the IR Radio Music Festival stage, make some noise for Paramore! She performed Hot Times. Hot times. Burning 
kind of house. The only exception I was younger, I saw my daddy cry. Big man with dignity. Don't you clean them nice? But it feels good to leave the past behind. And ain't it fun? But during the end of Big Man Low Dignity, she gave a speech. 2025 is Donald Trump's playbook for controlling and punishing women, poor people, people of color, and the LGBTQ plus community. It is time for all Americans to band together and to finally defeat the Trump agenda. And the only way to do that She also condemned Republicans over their anti-LGBTQ plus laws at a show in Washington DC in June 2023. Said, if you vote for Ron DeSantis, I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry, you're effing dead to me. Is that comfortable enough for anyone? Sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler, you're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Afterwards, she continued, The blatant racism of our state leadership is embarrassing and cruel. Myself, as well as Paramore, will continue to encourage young people to show up to vote with equality in mind. For non-Americans and people who don't care about politics, here's a brief explain on what Project 2025 is. It's a huge 900 plus page document that outlines what more than 100 conservative organizations led by the Heritage Foundation want the next president to do. Often the project associated with the orange man Despite him saying he knows nothing about it, but some of his allies are a part of it, the powerful ones too. According to this Reddit user, here's how it affects almost everyone. By banning federally gay marriages, divorce, anything deemed pornographic, no, not this corn, Okay, mate, well, okay, fine, maybe this one. Abortion, anything trans related, the list goes on. Just like how Haley said, For controlling and punishing women, poor people, people of color, and the LGBTQ plus community. Back to Palmore, the Autism Capital tweeted a behind the scenes of a speech. She's reading a script and it's all paid actors. The Romans treated actors as the lowest members of society on the same level as sanitation and <coughs> Okay, but what does it have to do with the Romans? Like, if you're gonna bash someone, at least use something that isn't dead for centuries. And also, I am into Roman mythology right now, and how dare you use the Roman against Paramore? Like Use something that is, you know, more modern. Then Elon Musk retweeted this, saying she was reading from Q Cars. Here's what some people said under his post. It's all fake, always has been. It's a great day to have never been a Paramore fan. Now that is straight cap. You do not know how much fun and nostalgia you have missed for not being a Paramore fan. Like I tell you what, misery business. <laughs> Role in my childhood. It was like my feeling art song. The media is no longer free or independent. Then how the heck are you still typing this out? Embarrassing stuff. Everything scripted and planned. In her response, she stated, Whoever you are, I typed out my speech and had a crew member hold it near the camera for me in case I got nervous because what I had to say was important and I didn't want to trip up in the moment. Didn't end up looking at it though. That's because I prepared. Finally, not only was I not paid to make the speech, but we, Paramore, didn't get paid to play that radio fest either. Just doing it for free, I guess. Thanks so much for your concern and for spending my name right. Bye. And that's how we went from Paramore and Taylor Swift to the autism capital and Elon Musk commenting on them. I can't say much about the situation because I actually don't live in America. The land of freedom and
for liberty! Rah! Wait, is it? Is it liberty? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. okay. Second, my family rarely brings up politics, so I actually didn't know much until I started making this video. Also, I'm too busy hiding in band camp and listening to metal bands like Eamon Amworth and refitting Terrorizer. However, like I said before, I don't just listen to the music for music, but for the lyrics as well. And given that I listen to Grindcore, Punk, Cross Punk, so what am I? Honestly, to this day, I still mess this up on which side is which side. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Comment down below if you still support Paramore after this or are you on Elon's side. So yeah, let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.